Hi Code 9 Volunteer, I'm so glad that you are watching this training video. We are so thankful that you are serving this year in Code 9 and it's, it's going to be an amazing, amazing year where we see growth in the kids, where we see life change and we get to be a part of that. So go ahead and join with me and pray. God of the universe, you are so good. Lord, just bless Code 9. God, bless the volunteers for helping. Bless their lives. Um, let this be something that when they come, they feel refreshed after doing it. Let them um, each time just get a, a special blessing of just knowing that, that they are making it in a forever and ever impact in these kids' lives. We love you so much and help this video just really help them to understand what, what Code 9 is all about and what it's going to look like. We love you. You receive all the praise and glory and honor, Jesus, in your holy name. Amen. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you what an average night looks like at Code 9. Follow me. So before Code 9, we have family dinner at the Ulaga campus. And so if you guys could just walk around, talk to families, go upstairs, play video games with the kids, watch the kids go down the slide, watch them play on the rock wall, really invest in the parents that are here and let them know, wow, your little girl, your little boy is really growing closer to Jesus. And I thank you so much, really getting to know them. So after that, we're going to have cleanup time during this countdown. Let me show you. So you might hear a, a, a countdown kind of like this. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to clean up. And so you're going to wipe down the tables, put the tables up, sweep, and we're going to have cleaning supplies ready for y'all. And then you're going to put the tables up in here at the Ulaga campus. And then also the chairs over here. So now it's time for celebration time. And we're going to um, have so much fun during celebration time. We are in our, our um, schedule where it's where we walk through the Bible and we go through the Bible on each on, on our timeline. Isn't this amazing? They're going to learn so much about Jesus. And this is the same one that we do on Sunday and Wednesdays. So they're going to hear it again. And then it, not only that, but they're going to go deeper into it. And so in each unit, we have a theme. We're going to, this one is going to be exercise theme. So, so the celebration leader is going to come in with, with our sweat band and, and then our whistle. And we're going to get all the kids really excited about it, and then we're going to sing and dance. And we really encourage you guys to stand up, sing with your small group, and, and really show them what it means to worship God with, with our bodies. And so let's go ahead and um, play some of the songs like this. And we're going to speed up through them like that. And they love this one. After that, we're gonna go over our key passage and we're going to go over our big question, big picture question. And then also our big picture um, question and answer, and then our story point. After that, really encourage your group to um, listen to the story video because this is what our questions are going to be about in our small group. This one's called, no other gospel. So after that, our story pick is going to going to pop up, and then our small. It's time for small group, first and second grade small group, um, and it's going to. I'm going to show you guys where that is, and then third through fifth grade are going to stay in here for games, and it's going to be so much fun. So let's go ahead and grab our binder. So today I'm gonna act like my mom. She is the third through third grade girls small group leader, and um, it has a schedule on the front, verbatim what we're gonna do at each rotation. Twenty min, usually twenty minutes each. Okay, and so third through fifth grade stay in here. Um, so she would stay in here, but I'm gonna show you where the first and second grade boys and 
third through fifth grade boys are going to meet and the first and second grade girls and the third through fifth grade girls are going to meet for small group when they rotate and where they're supposed to go. So let's go upstairs. Okay, we made it boys. So the, the guys are going to uh, help lead in here. And so um, third through fifth, first through second, you're gonna meet in here. Um, if you guys could have one, one uh, or two small groups meeting in each room, but there should be two adults in each room. If there's not, will you please keep the door cracked just for accountability reasons. So let's go look at where the girls are going to meet. So this is where the girls can meet. Um, so you can meet right here, you can meet in the classrooms back there, wherever you guys are, um, it's important to be at a place where somebody knows where, you're, where you are and some place where if we need to find a kid, we can go and say, oh, they're in that small group, that's where they usually meet. Um, also for the Chelsea campus, make sure that, that you get with Kim. Where can we meet? Where, um, can we meet in this classroom? Can we meet in that classroom, okay? So I'm acting like my mom tonight. So we're going to meet right here. That's where we decided to meet. And we're going to um, sit in a knee to knee circle and we're going to start our small group time. Okay, so this is your binder. You're gonna open it up and this is everything you need for your small group time and your circle time. So right here it says, find the story in the Bible. Now that you don't have to go verbatim. Um, you don't have to follow this like first find in the Bible. First, this is just a rough draft of what um, you should do during small group time. So you're gonna find the story in the Bible. Now you'll find that it says it on one of these pages, Galatians 1 through 3. It also says it, we have it ready for you guys right here too. This is your copy. Okay, so you're gonna find it in the Bible. Each kid is gonna get a Bible. Then also you're going to um, have the kids retell the story, help them to retell it. Um, you can also use this as a guideline, okay? And then um, you can do the box questions on the sheet of paper right here. I'm gonna turn this right here and there's box questions. You're gonna ask them all these questions about this and you can give them Harbor Bucks, which are found in this little Ziploc bag right here. Also the activity page, you're gonna pass these out and you guys can do them together. After you read the story together, read, tell it, um, you can talk through these questions. What does this story teach um, me about God or the gospel? Just talk about it. Especially with fourth and fifth graders, I think that they'll be more apt to want to dive more deeper in, in that. Um, but also, there's family discussion starters. Why does God want us to grow in godliness? Um, if they come back with this filled out, so there's an activity page in here, an activity page right there. And then they also come back with initials right here by each of the questions for the family discussion starters. They're gonna get 10 Harbor Bucks and that's a big deal. So we want them to, to bring this home and, and start having gospel conversation, gospel conversations in their families. So after that, um, then you can uh, talk about de the deeper questions on there. Then we're gonna hit our Code 9 memory verses. Our Code 9 memory verses are found right here. There's an orange list and a purple list. Many of them have already done the orange list and the purple, or part of the purple list. I don't think a lot of them have finished the purple list. But you're gonna find that your copy is in the back, laminated, okay? All right, and so Mosley, she did all of the orange list, and so what you're gonna have her do before she goes to the purple list, which is found right here, she hasn't done any of the purple list right yet, so she's going to go ahead and recite all of the previous verses before she hits the purple list. We wanna make sure that she knows all of the orange list before she gets there. So let's say she moves to the purple list, and she says it once, 
Okay, Ephesians 4.32, once, twice, third time, sticker. So she, it's memorized. Now it's a, if it's in the same setting, she doesn't have to say verse one again. She, just, she can go to Philippians 2.14 and do it once, twice, third time, memorized. Go to the next one. Doesn't have to say verse one and two again. But let's say she does verses, or she does Ephesians 4.32 and Philippians 2.14. And then next week, she wants to do Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. She then has to say verses this one, the first one, the second one, and the third one. So um, let me reiterate. So first, second, third, memorized, good. First, second, third, memorized, good. If she came back the next week, she would have to say these all over again to go on to the next one, okay? All right, let me know if you have any questions about that. So it's really exciting. We're, we're putting God's word in their hearts. In this one, we also have pencils to give them. We have the stickers that you need, and we also have a list of the items that you can give them. One Harbor Buck for each one for bring your Bible, bring a friend, memorize the key verse. Now, Let's go to circle time with our small group. So after the two rotations go back and forth, so small group time and then game time and then they switch, we're gonna go to circle up time. So we're gonna grab a circle from the middle or the corner of the room. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna circle up in a knee to knee circle. Like this, you're gonna open up your activity so once again, you're gonna find the circle time with your small group activity right here. And you're gonna do it together and it's gonna be so much fun. So during this time, we also are gonna call certain small groups up to Harbuck so there's not a big line that they have to wait on. And so once we see that the line is dying down, we're gonna say, okay, third grade boys, now it's your turn. So that you're gonna go with your small group, stop your activity, go with your small group, and once they're done, then you're going to come back, okay? And so, yeah. It's going to be awesome. Now it's time for celebrate the ending celebration. And so we're going to play our missions video and it's going to be an amazing time. You're going to stay in your in your circle with your small group, watch the missions video from your your small group circle. And then you're going to watch the video. We're going to sing again, worship, talk a little bit about the missions video, have announcements, and then you're going to stay seated with your circle, with your small group until your kid is called. So no going upstairs and playing video games, no going on the rock wall. You are going to make sure that you are with your small group talking about their lives until their parents come, um, having fun, you know, saying, what can I be praying for you this week? Having a conversation. And then it's over and, and we just had a great night of Code 9. And so it's going to be an amazing time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so excited. We're praying so hard for Code 9. And if you guys could, in the link in, uh, underneath, there is a 10 question 10 question quiz about this video, about what you learned. Now, if you get something wrong, it's not like you fail or anything. It's just so I can gauge if, if you watch the video, if you have any questions, we're gonna have a comment section on there. And if you got like two out of 10 or whatever, I can come up to you and say, hey, um, I saw that you didn't, <laughs> didn't do very well. Let's talk about it. Do you have any questions for me? So thank you guys so much and see you at Code 9, September 8th. Bye.